In the most important rooster news for the Minnesota Fighting Vikings on Friday, uh, the Vikings have gotten defensive tackle Ross Blacklock, the fourth-year uh, defensive lineman from TCU, to take a pay cut. All right, so uh, the news is from Ben Gessling. A Vikings defense tackle, Ross Blacklock, renegotiated his contract on Wednesday to the NFL veteran minimum of $1.01 million for 2023. The move saved the Vikings around 683000 in cap space. And you remember Blacklock was traded for uh, last August uh, with the Texans when the Vikings went a little swappy-swappy. Uh, they went uh, Blacklock in a seventh for a, a sixth-round pick from the Vikings. So Blacklock's trade value was a difference between a sixth and seventh round pick last year just just great and then last season for the vikings uh he played in uh 11 games 139 snaps he recorded 11 pressures one sack two tackles one tackles for loss and he has nice defensive line depth and he does certainly have potential i mean he was a top 40 selection for a reason uh but the texans for whatever reason decided to move on and the vikings uh getting him to take a pay cut keeps him in the sphere in the rotation for now now it's really it's really odd, first off, where you very rarely see guys on rookie deals take a pay cut. Usually it's a just a cut, just a, a release. But you know, Blacklock must obviously see uh, something here with the Vikings, uh, a, a chance to make the 53-man roster uh, going forward as opposed to hitting free agency, which uh, certainly could have been his prerogative if he wasn't interested in the pay cut. Uh, but also, th- this doesn't guarantee that he's going to make the 53 uh, because his league minimum deal of $1.01 million, there's no guaranteed money, and... And he, he can claw back the 683000 uh, but it's listed as 2023 playing time incentives, uh, which are listed as not likely to be earned. So it could be something like playing 50 or 60% of the Vikings defensive snaps in 2023, which probably isn't going to happen uh, since he is going to be likely a rotational guy if he does make the roster to begin with. So it's uh, I, I understand it's sort of a nickel and dime thing and obviously doesn't move the needle a lot, but I mean, Quasey, a messing around like like he's clearing every single penny that he can uh, of cap space and just finding it wherever. And the Vikings uh, are potentially going to make a couple of big moves in free agency as well as taking care of some of their own. And that does take money, even though six hundred and eighty three thousand isn't a lot. In the grand scheme of things, it, it, it isn't even a minimal uh, cap hit on the top 51, uh, but every single penny counts uh, in situations like this. But your thoughts are thoughts. Uh, Vikings get defensive tackle Ross Blacklock to take a pay cut. Uh, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Once more, the work, put a little something in the Venmo. But to next time, Skull Production Value.